Hello, welcome back. Today I have a journal flip through. This is my June design team project for Calico Collage and her beekeeper kit. It's beautiful, so fun. I really enjoyed making this journal, it was so fun. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. So it's a um, chipboard cover that I covered in fabric. And I added the book and protectors. Did some layering and sewing for the cover. I have a sorry silk binding for the closure. <clears throat> and then on the inside, we have three signatures. I have a library pocket here on the front. And in the back, I have Oh, I'm not sure of the name of this pocket, but a pocket back here with the strings securely attached, apparently. Anyway, oh, there we go. And this can store extra goodies back here. I liked this pocket because the beekeeper kind of made me think of field notes and if a beekeeper, you know, kept journaling about his or her bees, um, that was just kind of the thought there. All right, so let's get into this beautiful kit and check out the journal. So this is the cover page from the kit and it says the bee. And um, Norella makes these really cool, big giant tags. So I just added some fabric to the back really fun for journaling and then I had in my stash which is perfect I've had this for a while this bee ribbon so you'll see that throughout the journal and this is a actually a uh, a teacher grade book page <laughs> I thought the colors went well and some stitching with ribbon and then some a little tuck spot here and a butterfly paper clip Another beautiful page from the journal and a fabric tuck right here and this tag that I did some stamping it says B this is a ticket from the kit and then just some pieces of fabric and then a tag and then an envelope with some tickets in here scrapbook paper this really fun old children's insect front cover. Another tuck. Some great space for journaling. I did some stamping of a hexagon shape. And then I have these little center things. Another great space for journaling. Another scrapbook. Here's another pocket, the front of an envelope. Fun little beehive. This is the back of the other part and I have a card that says flowers and then I just tucked to this journaling card here. Another great space for journaling. Another tag. I just did a little collage on. <clears throat> All right, second signature. Here's another one of those tags. Some graph paper or ledger paper. Scrapbook page. Here's another envelope with more goodies tucked in. Coffee dice paper. Another tuck spot, another little tuck spot right here with some tickets, more of that fun ribbon, and this fun, beautifully embossed gold paper with flowers. I just love it. Thought it went really well with the kit. Another little tuck spot with a bee cut out from the from my kit. And on this one, we have. Um, Tags, little tags, a little tuck spot. This says Queen Bee and some tickets and a bee. 
The other half of that paper. This one has a side tuck with some goodies tucked in. Is that it? Oh. Mason jar and some tickets. Another large tag that I did some sewing fabric on the back. A little tuck. Glassine bag envelope. <clears throat> Third signature. This one says bird because birds and bees. <laughs> this is a piece of the kit and I just added it on this page. I made for my Rhinia foil. You'll see the video posting uh, hmm, July 22nd, and I can link to that video later when it's posted, but you'll see how I made that on the Rhinia foil YouTube page. There's the center for this one. I did butterflies. It says save the bees. Beautiful cover. More journaling. A tag. I actually made this tag for another journal, but because of the bee, I kind of took it from that journal and put it in this one. And the page is beautiful. I love this kit. I love it. Another fabric tuck. And some journaling and a ticket. A fun coffee dyed tag and another little journaling card tucked in there and then there's the pocket in the back and this is the beekeeper journal isn't it fun I love this kit it's so fun and I will have the link below and yeah check it out it's an awesome awesome kit all right thanks so much for watching and have a wonderfully crafty day day bye bye mm -hmm.